this week on Clown College. I'm sorry. I, I can't I can't wait any longer, All dude. Right. Brandon has been traumatized oh, by the man. new Garfield movie. <laughs> yes. It's yeah. an animated movie for children. <laughs> And Brandon has been talking about it like it is the most grotesque motion picture ever <laughs> yeah. created. Please explain to the people. So Elaborate. I, I saw it last night in 3D at like t- 10 o'clock at night. And uh, it, it, it <laughs> scarred me, man. Like me. Welcome to Clown College. We have profound knowledge. In many ways, to elevate and make it sound polished. So if you want to, hear a little honest. A few takes on a ways to make it as a comic. Then stick around for a while. If you're down to clown, we got the guests right now just to show you how. Let's all go to Clown College, baby. Let's all go to Clown Got to take my testosterone max blocker. Hell yeah. My EP. Is that an N? Look how it is, dude. Where is it? EP. Right? Oh, yeah, you're right. He's not dumb. (laughs) (laughs) At least not in this situation. But, yeah, it is an N. You're just old. Your vision's bad. Yeah, dude, Mm. you ain't lying. I got contacts in, too. You know I never take these motherfuckers out. Dude, we got King Nitric Oxide, top shelf. Damn. More size, more blood flow, less fatigue, and it's got an eggplant emoji. That's how you know it's FDA approved. You know? <laughs> oh, shit. So Does it really got an eggplant yeah. emoji on there? <laughs> and, the, and the heart is the heart emoji. Oh, shit. Like the realistic heart. But, yeah. You Thanks know, to Scott Curtis. I like Thank putting you. stuff in my body that's a, a medical supplement that has emojis <laughs> on it. Mm. That's good for you. For that's sure, the good dude. shit. He said this is top. It says top shelf. It has to be has top to be. shelf, dude. That's definitely not a white labeled supplement from China, dude. <laughs> it's not. So what's the what, what's the size on? <clears throat> penis. What? Oh, the penis. Yeah, size. yeah okay. it, that's why. That's why it has. It's gonna get more blood emoji. pumping. Oh, to your extremities. Yeah, I don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> Our bad, Brandon. Yeah, nah, man. My bad, dude. I wasn't even going to share with you anyway. I understand. <laughs> he gave me that, uh, what was that thing called? The moo, the moo milk or something like that, where it helps your uh, whole body system and everything. It's been good. I've been um, using it. You've been using it? Oh, is, yeah. Is that why you stopped up right now? Could be, because I have to use, well, I don't use real milk. I use like almond milk or that lactate. Uh-huh. You don't like regular milk? Oh, no. I mean, I'm lactose intolerant. Me too. But I still, you know, I don't give a fuck. I still eat ice cream, cheesecake, and all that. But if I could avoid sometimes. Doesn't sound like it. Mm -hmm. Doesn't sound like you're trying to avoid it at (laughs) all. Yeah. I mean, regular (laughs) milk, I don't know, man. It's an addiction. Do you like 2% or whole milk if you're just drinking? I grew up on 2%. Me too. Yeah. I like the whole. Never the whole. I like to taste it in there, dude. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, I don't drink no milk. Do. I'm like you, almond yeah. milk. Vanilla I, almond milk. Yep. I'll drink Unsweeten. like a regular glass of milk every once in a while, dude. Mm-hmm. With a PB and J, <laughs> there's nothing like it, man. You know, my dad drinks a glass of milk with every meal. For no real? No matter what he's eating, he drinks a glass of milk with it. So wow. he goes out. He's like a glass. He, of he milk. doesn't eat out. Oh, he does. <laughs> He just eats at home. Like he'll he'll eat two hot pockets with a glass of milk, dude. <laughs> Ooh, I don't like how you respond. Yeah, to that, right. Dude. Nah, dude, that's cool. Okay, I'm sorry. I I can't I can't wait any longer, All dude. Right. Brandon has been traumatized oh, by the man. new Garfield movie. Yes. It, it's yeah. an animated movie for children. <laughs> And Brandon has been talking about it like it is the most grotesque motion picture ever <laughs> yeah. created. Please explain to the people. <laughs> Elaborate. I, I saw it last night in 3D at like t- 10 o'clock at night. And uh, it, it, it scarred me, man. Like Because I was like, dude, Garfield is just fucked up inside. Because think about it, dude. He's eating all this food as an addiction problem because his dad left him there a dumpster. And uh, then his dad come back because some shit's fucked up and keep telling him these stories. And he just keep on being like, man, you're right, dad. That's all right. Well, no, man, he just left you. You know what I mean? And then they got this scary ass, wrinkly, ballsy looking dog that's big as fuck. And they and they trying to fucking kill Garfield, man. He almost died five times. They should have died. They all should have died, but they didn't. It was fucked up. 
Brandon. <laughs> yeah, you'll you, see. <laughs> I don't. That was kind of scary. <laughs> and but, it was a little racist too because the dad was black, man. Brandon, but, hey, what up, son? Do you think that maybe this hits a little close to home? Yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. It's weird. The it's food weird. addiction. I know, I know. But and, but well, he could have been a drug addict, but he was a food addict. And so. the the wrinkly dog, maybe a family like a member that was close to you that oh, tried God. to do something five times. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> I, it's all starting to make sense now that you explain it like that, dude. Oh, no. That dog was trying to kill him, though, man. It was because at first he was trying to kill him, but then he was like, man, I can't fucking kill this. They, it, that's, when you see it, it's going to haunt you, man. No, I, I don't think. <laughs> Can you pull up a all picture right, yes, of the dog? Please. Is it a scary dog? Because oh, I'm, I'm imagining Garfield. like a Beethoven looking dog. But he said his dad was black. Yeah, he was like, hey, what up, man? Like, if you hear it, he just has like black stripes, which is weird. He's and mixed. Then, Remember when he said uh, in the in the front room earlier, he was like, his dad's black. And you were like, yeah, it's played by Chris Pratt. He was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, that's kind of scary dog. looking Garfield 20, right there. 24. No, that's the, that's the good Garfield. I remember those days, man. That's back in the... Look at that. Hold on. You that's see. his dad? No, that's not his dad. That's not his dad. Is that a dog? Hold on. Where is his dad? His dad is right there. Oh. It, he's just... He's, he's orange. I know, but dude, well, how you is he black? Him. You'll hear him. You'll hear him. Go, go to Cass. Is that the crazy dog yeah, you were that, talking yeah. about that was trying to kill him? Yeah. Hold on. Garfield but, movie. Hey, who, who made this movie? Oh, my gosh. I don't want to stream it. Cass. Hold on. Who made this? Let's find out who made this. Because you guys are scaring Brandon. This, this is supposed is, to be a fact. It's we're gonna, Ben Rames' his dad is from. We're going to boycott oh this. Oh, my gosh. This is. <laughs> That's who it was. This is the dad. Man. Yeah, man, the dude, right. that was on oh. Chuck and Larry. You remember? <laughs> so his dad is black, dude. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Now let's see. Uh, it has Bo and Yang in it. I'm out all the way. Asian hair this month is over. <laughs> I, I can't hold it <laughs> Wait, back anymore. What character? Well, first of all, he's in a movie about okay. cats and dogs. Mark typical. Mm -hmm. You said who? <laughs> <laughs> Took a mistake. <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson is in the he's movie. He's in everything. Damn. Oh, he's Vic. My bad. He's the. Is oh, he he's the dad? dad. Yeah, he's the dad. Okay. So who does Vic, Ving Rhames play? Otto. Man, who is Otto? Man, I forgot who Otto was already. I love my favorite Ving Rhames line is. Oh shit! Oh. Otto was funny as fuck, man. Is that a bull? <laughs> it's like Romeo and Juliet, man. What? It's, yeah, he's trying to get his cow <laughs> back. And they stole his girl. He ain't having it. He's like, man, we're gonna rob this place. That Bye. pink thing. That's a. Oh yeah, pig. this is his girl right here. No, this cow, man, uh. dude. And when I saw, dude, I put, man, I was like, I know once he get this cow back, he gonna hit that thing up. And that's exactly what happened. Because they show that. What? Yeah. What do they show? Oh well, uh, okay. So <laughs> I think so, that was a that was a video so you I, looked up on your phone. No, I was afterwards. watching it in the movie. I was like, man, they finna smash and do some shit. I can tell you that, especially with that cow ass. <laughs> And then uh, as soon as I said that, they literally jump into each other and then they had to cut the scene. Cut the stuff. I thought this was oh, a children's you, movie. Yeah. I, it, oh, it's very children, but the kids probably don't get it. But it scared you? It has sex in it? No, Beastiality? man. Beastiality? I thought that was cool. But uh, <laughs> but you were scared at points during this movie. No, I just feel, I, I mean, yeah, that dog scared the shit out of me. That creepy ass dog. But what I was more concerned about Garfield because I was like, all this time, I was like, damn, this fat cat like you just eat guard what is that lasagna all damn yeah. shit but in reality he's just trying to get over his his dad issues yeah because his dad left him he was like i'll be right back son and he never fucking came back uh, and then he gonna come back and be dude. like he gonna be like wait a minute man the reason i wasn't there because you weren't there when i came back i don't believe it i mean i mean i don't know you're not man. buying it i'm yeah. not he's he, phony dude i feel like they just made it a kid version because they're like kids okay we got to make a child like so he was like, I'll watch you outside the window all your life. I don't know, man. So for all the bastard children yeah. out there, dude, it's actually your fault because <laughs> you weren't by the dumpster when your dad came exactly. back. Exactly. You dude. walked off. And then, and then, and then. <laughs> it's your fault. This is the dad's crazy uh, side bitch or something like that that's trying to kill him because she she got sent in a pen for five years. Oh. Yeah, what? man. There's yeah. a, dude, there's this, a lot there's going a on. Lot going yeah. on. There's it was a, lot a lot to lot. unpack with this movie. So, Brandon. You also said that this was 10 p.m. at night when the movie started. Yeah. And it's it's kind of weird for a children's movie to start that late. Was there anybody else in the theater? There's some people up in the back, very uh, high up. Yeah. They were fucking. Probably. 
Where were you sitting? Oh, man, I sat near, uh, right above the handicap section. Because yeah, that's I was good. Like, straight in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, man. I go a little bit back, but I like that, I like that pick. Yeah. Because nobody was around. I was making sure. I was like, okay. Were you so, by yourself? No, no, my girl was there. We he had a day night last yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, my bad, dude. My bad. Yeah, yeah. Was, she didn't you like got it a either. popcorn? She didn't like the movie. No. No, she, she was scared, weird. too? I don't know. She was confused. She was like, what the fuck is this, Brandon? You good? <laughs> I, was, I was just the whole time. I was like, this is some shit. This is crazy. And, uh, yeah, man, we got that combo. We had the large popcorn. And what kind we, of sodies did you get? What, what type of what? Sodies. <laughs> sodies? What's sodas? that? Sodas. <laughs> okay, you said sodas. Yeah, that was a real enigma okay. code. It, I didn't get the soda. I got bad. the icy. The blue oh, raspberry icy. Good solid Oh, choice. so you get, a, you get an icy, you get popcorn? Yep, and a Sour Patch Kids. Oh, that was $500. I was going to say, that's a good no, date night right Got a right good there. discount. Okay. Good discount. And I uh, ate all that. I'm sorry you didn't enjoy the movie, man. Oh man, I knew you. He was looking forward to that for a while. Yeah, he was it talking just threw for me off. Oh, like he should have been dead. Uh, yeah, but he he. Uh, you wanted him? to No, die? I didn't want him to. But dude, there was too many situations where I was like, "There's no way." Do you remember one of his close calls? Dude, okay, so death? they start falling to their death the first one, and then he bounced back up off the trampoline. They're like, "Yo, we made it." And then the other dude made him fall back down to the death again, and they often die. But at the last minute, that dog with all the wrinkles. His flaps go up and start waving. And they all live because of that. And I was like, it like parachutes them down. Yes, and I was like, in real life, that would have been it. I'm yeah, sorry. but Brandon, you know this is a cartoon. I know. And this it's about talking <laughs> animals. I, I know they got kidnapped, man. They didn't even want to do this. They got kidnapped. It, I don't <laughs> think realism <laughs> is a factor. It had nothing at play. to do with this. Of all movies. Realism plays no part in a Garfield movie. I know, but it was so crazy. They made the the owner go crazy, man. He was great, man. What's his name? John? Let me see. That little fucking cuck, dude. Oh, I forgot him? about that. Who played him? He has Oh, it. yeah, let's see. Hold on. Let me go back to the cast. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so his name, John. Okay, so this is who played him. Oh, okay. oh that's a beast from X-Men. Yeah, dude. yeah, that's a good pick. Can you go back to the... Go back to the Garfield thing and then go to the images. Yeah, I got you. Can you click on that one in the top left? Right here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's how you found them. So this is the movie that scared you? <laughs> <laughs> this well, one? the This Garfield movie? It was, right? It's, it's fucked up. It just made... It, hey, Garfield looks different to me now, man. <laughs> he that's looks why pretty funny. cute. I'm going to be honest. I don't know how old he is. I don't want to get yeah. any legal trouble, but this, he's, he seems cute, man. This mm-hmm. is this is when it happened, man. This is when he got abandoned. He looks pretty happy though. <sighs> no, nah, he look, You can see it through his eyes, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's fucked up. I'm sorry, man. Okay, man. we can switch topics, dude. Yeah. I, I didn't... I'm sorry, Garfield. Uh, look at that. He don't even love love. You can he tell. does look upset, dude. Yeah. I'm not. He should be I'm happy. Not gonna deny that. Up uh, and then look at that. Look at that. He's mad. His dad right there, just like, damn son, why are you mad at me? He knows. That's a big ass cat. Yeah, it's man. a big ass cat. He has a lot of weight on him. From yeah. all that shit, all the people he left. <laughs> oh, so you're oh saying God. his you're <laughs> saying his physical weight is symbolism for the weight of all his like I his wrongdoing. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. man. Everybody he turned his back on. I don't think anybody else dug that deep into it. No, man, but I like where you're going yeah. with it, dude. You should yeah. be a movie critic. Because <laughs> this is this is hypnotizing. To see somebody go that deep into fucking Garfield. Yeah. I mean, I would love to watch this movie and then think back on the conversation of how Brandon interpreted it. I have to go watch it. And it breaks it all down, too. You'll see. You'll be like, damn, Brandon, damn. Did you cry? I didn't. Did you get close? Why'd you say it like that? I didn't cry. Of course, there was a part where I was was like, damn, man. Damn, that's crazy. I didn't cry. What was the part? Maybe a little sniffle. I was like, damn. Maybe some tears welled up, but yeah. nothing fell. Man, I thought I was looking at. I was like, "This touched deep. It touched deep." Yeah. I was like, "This is crazy." Like the shit because it's like you believe it. I'm like, I was like, "Thank God, this is a kid movie." Because if this wasn't a kid movie, it would have been a bad way. It would have been all lies. But since it was a kid <laughs> movie, I guess this instance it was right, and he saved the day. Who? I guess the Gar- Garfield. And Garfield and they, saved the day. Yes, right? yes, and yeah, the dad. I mean, the dad was there, and then. Yeah, it was. It, I just man, it looks like it's rough for you. It's a, it's a crazy movie, yeah. man. It's crazy. Like when you guys see it's it, so deep. It's so deep. It's the deepest cartoon I've ever seen. Yeah, hey, 
Would you say it has layers, man? Layers? Just like lasagna. Oh, hell yeah. Lasagna and that dog. Hey. It's really, the lasagna is a metaphor for life, dude. <laughs> yeah. Because exactly. sometimes, you know, you just got to get through all those layers of pasta to get to yep. the sauce, dude. That Parmesan was probably cocaine. Because he's fucked up. Maybe. Damn, man. <laughs> Maybe. That's a possibility. Yeah. I'm not going to deny it. I didn't see the film. But why, what are, I don't understand. Why does Garfield's dad look like he has fur, and then Odie and Garfield are real smooth, like? Oh, because he's a wild cat. He in the wild. Like, oh. He even told him. When he was like, he was like, man, I'm a street cat. You know what I mean? You're a house. That's cat. why he had to leave. Yeah. Because he was a street cat. Yeah, he was like, he, he was can't like, let these babies hold him down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like this movie is racist somehow, dude. Yeah, so then he realized his son we'll was a pussy, out. and he was like, that's why I kidnapped you. No, man, you kidnapped him because you're in a fucked up situation, and you want help. Mm-hmm. So so Garfield's dad was in trouble. Yes. And he came back to get Garfield to help yep. him out. What, what trouble did he find himself uh, in? Well, he left somebody else, and he was fucking with this other cat, this girl. And uh, shit was hitting off when they tried to rob the Moo Moo truck, right? Little, they were trying to steal that milk because milk is money to them. Yeah. And when they did that shit, shit went sideways, and then she got caught. And he was like, man, I'm out. I got to go. Yeah. So he took off and left her. He's like, I'll be back with her. And left her. And now she's like, I'm going to get my goons, these dogs I found in prison. Because, you know, prison was crazy. Was it the pound? <laughs> Oh, yeah, man. They went to the pound, and these dogs were fucking crazy. Like, when you see that big-ass dog named Vic. Mm-hmm. Oh, so those are all pound dogs she got coming yes, to get Yes, yes. Those are the oh, ones she came. released a pound on his yeah, ass. Yeah, they broke out together. Uh, and uh, thankfully, they changed up. They're like, nah, man, we can't can't fuck this over no more. I feel like this is a mob film. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. I can't wait to watch it now, just with all this in my head. Yeah. You're going to like it. I want it doesn't to, seem like you like it. Yeah, man. it was weird to me. It was very because it changed my whole experience with Garfield now. Like I'm never gonna think of Garfield the same. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, because I, I feel like you're say, hurt man. right now. Because I realized I was like he's in. This is a whole trauma, man. Yeah. Uh huh. Damn. Yeah, but he 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 rised above it. Yeah, he came did. out on top, right? Yeah, now that's all that matters. Now his fat ass dad right there with him in the chair. That's the only thing he accomplished. There's some that. anger, dude. There's some. I'm sorry. I'm there's sorry. some aggression, dude. It's, o- it's okay, man. Because, let it out. Uh, yeah, dude. let it out. That, that, uh, I'm just like, because that's the know? only thing he accomplished. Now uh-huh. his dad can pull it up and spend his uh, dude's tab. Well, you know what, fuck it. Yeah, his man's tab. I'm going to say that to the owner. Because he was like, man, I adopted him. And now, yeah, he stole the tab. Now he got a big ass couch. And now they both sit next to each other in a big couch. While the dad getting all his extra food, too, now. Damn, I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> Brandon is so mad about this. I, was, I'm not, okay, I don't though. mean to laugh, man. But in the kid world, I think it was amazing. Uh-huh. In, the, in the real world, if that was real, it, it's, it's something behind this. Yeah, he forgave. Yeah, yeah, he did. He forgave. He did, and I guess the message. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta believe that message. I guess you know, you gotta forgive. You do, bro. <laughs> this is the craziest. <laughs> That's crazy. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Oh, 100%. But this, you're right. I, I, I haven't even watched the movie. I guarantee you're right about everything right now. Oh, yeah. It's really a social commentary yeah. dude, on the state of American families, man. Yeah. Oh, is. my gosh. Oh, my gosh. See, even on the headline right here, look at that. How much you want to bet Vic abandoned Garfield on a Monday? <laughs> oh, Brandon, what is this? Is this? Is, oh, there's fuck, a Garfield right. Reddit. <laughs> yeah, that's how deep it is, man. Oh my god, dude, are you the admin on here? Has I, this always been the story it. of Garfield, though? Oh, I have no idea about I that. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, so what is what does Monday have anything to do with? Oh, this? he hates Monday. Yeah, he, he doesn't. Hates, fuck oh, with I hate Monday. That's where I can. Oh, uh, yeah, he doesn't fuck with Mondays. Damn, dude. Can can we get on the Garfield Reddit and see what's go- what other people are saying about this, dude? Yeah, let's see. What because I'm willing to bet. Okay, it says, oh my gosh, look at this. The idea of filmmakers giving a sad backstory to why Garfield hates Mondays would both be insanely stupid, but also hilarious. What? Damn, dude. 
Oh, okay. These people haven't no, seen it yet. Yo, they're right. no, they're talking about trauma. Look, that one. Oh. That actually could be Garfield's reasoning for hating Mondays in the movie. He associates it with the trauma of uh-huh. having his father leave him. Uh-huh. I mean, it probably won't happen because they that's a heavy for a Garfield movie, but still, and that's exactly what they did. Oh my god. Yeah. Unless this, this is, is you that ago. posted this. <laughs> These are all seven months ago. They yep, asked. Seven Wait. months ago. Wait, it just came what? out. It, the movie just came out. Yeah, it dude. just came he's out before. He's saying that's the backstory, but it's too heavy for them oh. to put in a garbage. Dude, go to movie. the main Reddit. I'm into this now, bro. Where, I'm sorry. <laughs> this, I didn't know this whole Reddit. episode was going to be about Garfield, but now it is. Yeah, I know. Scroll oh, yeah. up. Nothing. Right. And then click on r slash Garfield up there. Uh, it's going to show us the whole thing. Oh, well, this is just... Press exit in that corner. Normal. You said right here? No, to the right, where it says sign in the Google. Oh, yeah, I see what you're talking about. <laughs> there we go. Look at that Lego. What yeah. is that? What, this? Oh, that's just a Lego. That's scary, oh, I thought, oh, yeah, I thought he had some blood. Well, he like a, this person got a, a Garfield vibrator? tattoo? What? Let me see. <laughs> 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 All right, if I, if you come back and you have this, bro. oh my god, oh never, man, no, but that's that, out the window. Why? Because of the movie? Uh, yeah, the Garfield situation. They called Garfield a main coon situation. A main coon? Oh. oh hell, what the fuck? Main coon kitty. That's weird. Oh my gosh, dude. That's probably what it's called. Kind of Garf. Garf, okay. Oh yeah, that's that big cat. Oh, Have you seen those? Never. Mm-hmm. Look that up, Brandon. A man, those those are actually man cool. Coo, coo, uh, kitty cat. Coon. There it is, dude. Yeah. Cat. They're expensive. I forgot. Oh I man, these cats are fart. cool as hell. Yeah, dude. It's like uh, the, look at that white one. Click on the white one with that right lady. Here? Look at that thing. Damn, I think it's that big. Yeah. I can't do that shit. Yeah. Cats now. Oh, it's a look at look one. at his eyes. Yeah, he looked mad as fuck. Oh, yeah. He, I'd be scared of cats. That almost looks like a dude in an Easter bunny costume. Exactly. <laughs> Why is she holding him like that? Oh, she Motherfucker like, heavy. She finna slam his ass. <laughs> Brandon, I know you have some some aggression towards Garfield, dude, but we can't support animals. Oh, no, yeah, no. Sure, I love dude. cats. You know I am with Squeaks, man. I love cats. Dude, if mm. Squeaks was that big, he'd probably kill Jake. To be oh, for sure. Without a <laughs> yeah, doubt. that's I too damn so. big. He'd, Squeaks would kill Jake's within the first if like he just passed out for twenty four hours, he'll start nibbling on his eyeballs. Yeah. Without a doubt. Jake probably wakes up in the morning sometimes and he's like gnawing on his yeah. his finger or something. Without a doubt. Bears start from the ass when they eat it. Oh person. yeah. So where where do you think cats start? The eyes? Eyes. Soft tissue. Eyes, mm. nose, lips. Genitals maybe? If they if you got yeah. nothing on, yeah. Yeah. That's chimpanzees. They, they get through the genes though, you know. Yeah, that's why oh, you gotta you sleep got. in jeans. Yeah. Now I understand. Yeah, you understand dude. Dad, yeah. Thank you, dude. You actually helped me understand something about my own life. You should be a therapist, Brandon. Hey, I would do it. I would do it. <laughs> you can't prescribe yourself medicine, though. No, no. That's why you just gotta take it. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> the fuck. It's right there. Just yeah. pour some out. Take, give them that. You, you keep the rest. You got to take a few pills He's off like, the top. One for you, one for me. Yeah, one for you, five for me. I'm more <laughs> fucked up. All right, get up. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, we had some other crazy stuff. Well, That's you had good. something crazy happen. Oh, my gosh, dude. You got to tell them about this. Yeah, so I had to drop my girlfriend off at the Nashville airport earlier this week, man. Mm-hmm. And... I'm coming back on the way home, and the interstate splits into two lanes, and it was rush hour traffic. I took the wrong one, and I was on some street in Nashville. Like, it wasn't downtown, but businesses on either side, like rush hour traffic, cars were, and I stopped at this gas station because I have to piss, dude, and I want a little snack, man. I got one of the Coke Zeros and the Tall Boy cans, makes you feel like you're an American, dude, a little (laughs) pastry, a baked good. I'm having a good time. I pee. I go to get, and when I get to the gas station, there's these two homeless fellas just arguing, just yelling at each other. Mm -hmm. And I mind my own business and I go in there and I take a little bit. But when I come out, like everybody's yelling and screaming, and there's a crowd of people around them and they're like swinging on each other. And this dude, one of the homeless guys, pushes this other dude like in the chest. He stumbles back. 
hits his heel on the curb and falls back and gets smashed by a car. Ooh. Like 50, <laughs> so laughing, 55 miles an hour, dude. Jesus Christ. Damn. Like this dude. 100%. The other guy who pushed him ran off. They're, a whole bunch, they're calling the cops. People are screaming. It's craziness. That dude, 100%, either died on impact or died of his injuries. Like internal bleeding or something, dude. Dude, when you told me that, I when you told me it was in a text message, and I'm just thinking, like, yeah. he got hit by a car, like, uh, I was thinking max 25. I don't know why I was thinking that, but I was like max 25 miles an hour. If he got pushed into the street, he got hit going 50 miles an hour. Jesus Christ. There was just like no stoplights in that stretch. (sighs) And it's just like right at 530. Everybody's going home from work and SUV. Lady was was crying, but it just wasn't her fault. It hit him and he flew. (laughs) Yeah, he like ragged off, like tumbled a little bit. But yeah, he was, yeah. Oh, he didn't man. go under the car or anything. He got hit and pushed, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. And the lady braked pretty pretty fast. But, I mean, there was nothing she could have done to avoid it. No. I mean, that he just, like, that was a freak, like, final destination type. Damn. That's literally murder. He just, because yeah. he knew if he pushed them. Yeah. I get, Push I, somebody by the street. You know what I'm saying? How old were they? I have no idea. You can never tell. With, yeah, that's true. Sometimes, you know. yeah, yeah. Two dudes and just, you know. They look old? <laughs> Rest in peace. I mean. Hey, see if you can find it. Maybe for yeah, yeah, let's look see. it up. It was in Nashville. Nashville it was, homeless fight. It was Wednesday. Nashville homeless fight. Uh, homeless fight goes wrong. Dude, imagine somebody recorded it. You just see me. <laughs> and I got my Coke Zeros. <laughs> He just like, get in the car and leave. <laughs> he didn't help it. Yeah, I didn't help at all, dude. I, there was nothing I could have done. Oh, yeah, yeah. He said it I mean, what do you want me to perform? Emergency surgery? Damn, dude? nope. Let's just say Hit fight. Run, driver. Gas Is that station. it? Homeless in Nashville. Help our neighbors. Like nah, because those, those are all 20. Nah. Car. Look, let's just say fight. They Which gas station? They might not have uh, said it was homeless. It was a twice daily. Twice daily? Yeah. I don't, I don't know if you'll find it, man, but R.I.P., dude. Damn. Hold on. Nashville. I don't, they probably man. didn't put homeless in yeah, the just title. Like normal I fight. guess it's kind of irrelevant. Yeah. It's, it's, a life is a life, you know? Yeah, they may not put it on there. Hey, oh, man. Well, rest in peace. Yeah. yeah. Or if you made it. Or maybe he pulled through, yeah, dude. Maybe he made I, I I still be it. Out there. I, I doubt did. it, bro. If you, if you made it and you're watching this, yeah. we don't have any money or anything. But uh, you can be on the pod. Yeah, you can be on the we'll pod. We'll cook you a meal. <laughs> cook you a nice meal, dude. Yeah, dude. We'll make it worth your you while. You can use the shower. I got extra. Uh, yeah. You can, yeah. You know. Just don't Get shower it. with my hand soap I got in there, dude. I'll be upset if you do that. <laughs> Get a nice hug. That's what, that's what Brandon mm-hmm. will be doing. Brandon, Real quick. Brandon. Real yeah. quick. <laughs> <laughs> you off it, Brandon. I know. Give me a quick hug. Quick. Side. What? Side. Not full frontal hug. Yeah. Side hug. Yeah. All right. We can do that. that <laughs> I'm trying to help yeah, you. Yeah, uh, yeah, I like that. You can that. do full, yeah, you nah, can do man, full front. Good. I don't like that. Because hey, if you want to fucking like, embrace this, yeah. man. No, nah, yeah, I got dude. you, man. Because he could be a... I don't know. But, okay, so you see everybody offers something and you offer the hug. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. Man, because, I, I mean, you guys said everything. So I was like, man, let me say something. Yeah. But you wanted to give him a hug. Yeah. Water. Uh, real quick. Yeah. 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 I, I, hit off the, I hit a joint, maybe. You know what? Instead, instead, a beer? Yeah. Oh, come on, man. That's you a gotta good give idea. A beer. Dude. You can have you can have a twelve. Pack. I know your kidneys are failing already from yeah. that fucking Jeez. impact, dude. So Jesus Christ. chug you <laughs> one, man. <Yeah. laughs> Tough dude. Shit, man. That was bad. Damn. That was really bad. Did they ever catch the other guy? I don't know. He he pretty fast. Wow. He just he ran dipped off. out. I mean, I, 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 like, saw everything happen, but I was in so much disbelief. I wasn't really, like, I, I didn't watch where the dude went. I was just looking at the dude on the ground like, holy shit. Mm-hmm. That dude just got hit by a fucking car. Damn. Yeah. Man. That's it what everybody like did. was the Lion King, dude. Oh, damn. When Scar fucking. Mufasa. Yeah. On the edge. It was just like that, dude. Let's see. Not really, but. <laughs> Oh, and he got hit by the wildebeest. You remember the wildebeest yeah. stampede? Oh, damn. Dude, yep. it's fucking Lion King. That's the circle of life. Man. Homeless edition. That's, man. What yep, right Dude, there. it was kind of like that. Damn. Damn. Go to the world of wildebeest. But it was at a gas station. Let's see if they got a wild. I'll just search it up. Mufasa. 
Wilderbeast. Wilderbeast. <laughs> yeah, when them Wilderbeast. There it is. Yeah, dude. Damn. Now imagine oh, that was. Fuck. An, yeah, dude. Perfect picture. Oh my gosh, it was just like that. Oh, here go him getting pushed. This one he got. Damn, man. Uh, <laughs> That's what it looked like. <laughs> Damn. No, nah, man. That. Oh, Damn. Shit. And this. Oh man, this him on the ground. Yeah. This is you watching. You like, damn. <laughs> damn. Oh dear, dude. <laughs> Rest in peace. Or, Rest in peace. Or, like or hopefully he's still living. I hope yeah. he's still. Yeah, he's he's out there, guys. He got up. <laughs> yeah. Hey, dude. If he believed in the Lord, he'll always be with us. <laughs> Truly. Praise be. <laughs> be you. <laughs> be. All right, man. I'm glad that we talked about lighthearted yeah. subjects today, like family trauma and, and murder. Murder. Yeah. But sometimes you witness a murder. Sometimes you watch your family get murdered. That's dude. true. It happens. Damn. Yeah, yeah, those Damn. people are out there. Yes. Shame. It's a damn shame. <laughs> Brandon, what's it? What's the movie that you've seen that you cried the most? What would I have cried? Oh, man, I gotta. Damn, I gotta think of one. What's a, what's a movie that you mean like that touched my heart or what? Yeah. Oh, there was one movie, uh, The Good Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't that come out recently? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've never even heard of this. I think this is a newer one. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> like, <laughs> when did this come out? 2015. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, because my I remember my dog was sick, and I was watching that, and then I don't know why the the, the dinosaur howled, and that just hit me. Cause I'm like, damn, that's like my dog, and I'm like that kid. So that's your, that's your tear jerker right there, huh? It was. Yeah. He <laughs> looks like a sweet dinosaur, man. Man, he was the best. He's good. Yeah, look at that dinosaur, man. He looks so special. In both yeah. ways. Yeah. Yeah. You got a tearjerker? Movie? I dude, uh I there has to be one, man. I know I've probably cried at some I mean definitely Schindler's list. If you don't cry at that, I mean I didn't. Schindler <laughs> Well, you're half German, dude, so I thought it was a family movie. Oh, Boy wow. in the striped pajamas pretty hard. I don't know why I keep going with the Nazi stuff. Yeah, you're, like, you're, you're heavy in the Nazi. It is sad. Yeah, it's <laughs> definitely sad. It's fucking sad, dude. Yeah. Sad. I don't know what else. Oh, dude, what's that movie where they play baseball inside of an internment camp, the Japanese people? Hmm. I don't know. Oh, I, was that was I thought you were about to say uh, Field of Dreams. Oh, fuck that, dude. <laughs> Cornfield. Nah, look up where they play baseball inside of an internment camp. It might have been a Disney original. The last time I uh, cried in the movie was uh, Infinity War when Spider Man. That's almost worse than the fucking good. Well, when dinosaur. he disappeared. <laughs> that, that was, that, what are you talking about? Like, Mr. Stark. <laughs> that, that's stupid. That no, was a meme. Dude. That got turned it into a meme. It was Spidey. Look at this. American American pastime, bro. Never heard of this before. This was, yeah, I never in heard World this War II, they just made every Japanese person go into a camp because <laughs> they, they were scared of espionage. And then they fucking got good at baseball. And then Shohei Otani signs the largest sports contract in North American history, dude. <laughs> Sometimes you got to take reparations in your own hands, dude. And that is Look at what this he shit. did. Hell yeah. Look at that, dude. <laughs> The fucking I've never even heard it. Go to all. See when did this come yeah, out? Two thousand seven, man. Two thousand seven. Yeah. Oh, damn. Up. Oh, look at that. Two thousand seven. Okay. We watched this in history class. Oh, man. your history teacher was hung the fuck over. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Coming down from coke, probably that he just snorted that morning. Man, we watched Cinderella Man. Remember that? With a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, that's one of my favorite movies. I even corrected the teacher on it because she tried to say Henry Lewis was Joe Lewis. I was like, no, man. I'm sorry, but that's not Joe I Lewis. Can't let that slide. Yeah, you can't <laughs> disrespect Joe Lewis like that. It's uh -huh. one of the best boxers in the world. Yep. Speaking of boxing, you saw Deontay Wilder got knocked the fuck out. Last For real? Night. Yeah, horrible, who? man. Uh -huh. It was that dude. What, what was that dude? Zhang something? The Russian guy? Zhang Zhang? Yes, man, dude. He knocked him out horribly. I just made that name up. <laughs> okay, hold on. ZZ. Dude, it's some. See, look right there. I almost got him. Yeah, you were close, but dude, he knocked his ass out. 
Man. No. What? Dante Wilder. It, dude, a, he made like him that. turn his back. And oh. then as soon as he turned his back, he came back around and he just met him at the same time. Ooh. And and that was it. Come on, man. And Yeah, man. I didn't even know he was fighting last night. That's crazy. I should have yeah, known man. that. And Kevin Holland broke that guy's arm. Oh, snapped it in half. Dustin Poirier lost. Oh, man. Uh, At the last second, you saw that, what was that, that little scoop? I don't know if they call it the baseball scoop, but he got him, and he fell on the ground, spin around, straight into that guillotine. Yeah, uh, it was bad, dude. Horrible. Isn't game. that the dude, is the Islam the one that retired after he beat Conor McGregor? No, that's, that's Khabib. Khabib. But he Khabib is his trainer, like his main uh, trainer. Oh, yeah. Khabib so, is not coming back. He won't come back? No. His mom asked him to retire, mm. so he did. And he mm. never lost. Yeah, but he fought like 10 times. He had like 27 fights. He did? I think so. Let's see. Damn. I thought he fought like that. That Islam guy is 26 and 1 now. 26 and 1. Who beat him? I don't even know who beat him. 29 and no. Damn. 29, no losses. Yeah. He's a goat, dude. He is. Oh, shit. Look at that. Well, John Jones is also a goat. Jones ain't never lost. He just had Uh, one DQ, which counts as a loss. But, I mean, he did because the 12 to 6 elbow or whatever. Yeah. Let's see. But, fuck, dude. 26 and only one loss. Who did he lose to? Let's see that, dude. Uh, That was a good question, man. Yeah, I want to see that, too. Yeah, there it is. Let's see. What did he. Dustin Poirier. No. That was yesterday. (laughs) Come on, y'all. Tell me a loss. Just click through the years. Yeah. It'll right. eventually show a loss. It'll probably be earlier on in his career. Canceled. Yeah, let's go to 2015 and see. No, I, no he was whooping ass. Cancel. Whooping ass. Man, I don't know what they're talking about. When is it? Yeah, he's been beating ass. It might not be UFC. Yeah, it's probably. Oh, damn. Because there's no way that it, that one dude fought 29 times in the UFC. Oh, yeah, Khabib. Oh, he yeah. lost to this guy. Yeah, he did lose Martin. it. I mean, he did lose it. First round seen. knockout. Damn. Maybe Khabib did do all 20. That dude, but that wasn't. How, what they say? He was 20, that wasn't 26 fights, though, was it? It didn't look like it. Yeah. He had like 26 canceled fights. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he did that a lot. But stuff happens. Hell yeah. So Wilder got beat. Uh, Islam was coming back. And Sean yeah. Strickland knocked out. Or not, nah, he didn't knock him out, but he beat up Paula Costa. Yeah. Uh, okay. But he, was, Paulo Costa, was like ranked number seven oh. in the welterweight division. And what's uh, Sean Strickland is number one under the champion. Oh, okay. Yeah. Who's the champion? The dude that Duplessis, the guy that just Duplessis. beat him. Yeah, Duplessis. Oh, he just beat uh, Sean Strickland. Sean Strickland. Oh, it okay. was a close fight, though. It was really close. It was close, and now he won this one, so he'll probably get a rematch next time. He should, oh, yeah. man. I mean, the who who else is? I mean, Adesanya. Strickland beat Adesanya. I don't even think he's fighting anytime soon. Yeah, not for a little bit. He's going to train and get back in there. Mm. Yeah, but uh, what happened? What happened? Who else? Somebody else won and started twerking. That was something. Forgot who that person was. <laughs> you yeah. didn't see that? Nobody saw that. Girl guy. You know, that was some lady. She won. Mm-hmm. Started, uh, yeah. Throwing it down for that win. Mm-hmm. So that's good. That win. <laughs> so that's good. That's good. That's good stuff. You got to celebrate. You got to celebrate. <laughs> and that is how you do it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Brandon, you think Caitlin Clark's going to like find her step in the WNBA and the Fever are going to win some games this season? Or what, dude? Uh, yeah, I hope so. Nobody hurts her from all these fouls. Yeah, mm-hmm. because I, I I don't really follow up on the WNBA that much, but I have Nobody been seeing. Yeah, no. <laughs> but I have been seeing them fouls, and uh, yeah, like somebody was yelling at her and straight up boom bumped her. So yeah, she's getting baptized yeah. to that to if the she, pros. Yeah. If she can handle the baptization mm-hmm. and getting that water baptism and not drown <laughs> <laughs> the baptism and yeah. not drown, <laughs> <laughs> then she, if she can float to the top, she can do it. <laughs> so it's all on her. And, the toughness. This is the real test. It's like going into the prison, right? Yeah. Like going them sales. Mm-hmm. Somebody Sail. test you. Like Rambo, dude. Yep. You got to survive like Rambo out there. Shit, man. They tried to cut his hair. He wasn't going for that. He whooped everybody's ass, man. Survival of the fittest. Survival of the fittest. And he was the fittest, wasn't he? Yep. Yep. So and just far. like just like we're going to be tonight mm-hmm. on Warzone. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Yeah, we're, dude. Yeah. We're fucking. We're throwing up. Let's set, let's, let's, let's set it at two dubs. We're only playing for an hour and 30 minutes. Okay. We'll get we both got to be to work. Yeah. Uh-huh. 
do job that I won't say the name of that establishment. Hell they no. don't want to be associated with this filthy production. <laughs> dude. Yeah, I don't blame them. You guys got to start being nicer or something. Yeah, us. <laughs> you did the shit you just said. Yeah. There. What, dude? I was talking about. I don't even remember. <laughs> this dude just fucking talked about how Garfield is like a metaphor for just speaking the truth, not having a dad. Yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah, it was bad. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to put, I didn't mean to put so you back in that headspace. That's he came in today and he was like, "Watch that new Garfield movie." And he starts shaking his head. I'm sitting there cooking and shit. I'm like, "I'm like, yeah, how was?" He was like, "It's crazy, man." <laughs> <laughs> it was really dark. Yeah, he's almost dark. like his voice. He's losing his voice while he's talking about it. And I'm like, "Damn, dude, you care so much." You do. Yeah. Thought it was gonna be a family fun time. Yeah. But nah, man, it's therapy. You know. Damn. That's not what you came there for. Hey, no. it's, not, it's not what you wanted to see. No. But it might have been what you needed to see. Mm. I got to start going to Olive Garden or something? <laughs> yep. What? Because uh, they had, <laughs> no, dude, they had the branded foods on there, too. So they had oh. an Olive Garden tray and all that stuff. Oh, product. Yeah. Oh, see, it's taking over. During the UFC fights last yeah. night, they're talking about bad boys forever. Bad boys Wall, forever. Dustin Poirier and Islam Makhachev. Makhachev. Are in the middle of a round, dude. Machiavelli. Yeah, dude. Dom doesn't need it. He doesn't even need to fight the guy. His last name beats his ass, dude. I mean, that's crazy. I don't even try to say people's names like this. (laughs) These people, dude. (laughs) Russians? Anybody who has a name. Yeah, Russian names are hard. Unless it's Igor or (laughs) Fedor. It's always always V's in there. Vlasnak. Oh. Nergamedov. Mm-hmm. Nergamedov. Kalichnikov. Isn't it crazy how, like, they're, they're such tough guys, but they're so bad at war? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. They're like the worst uh, at war. War does take intelligence. Yeah. A lot of work. But you could just, Strategy. but you just, as long as you have a couple smart ones, you can throw these motherfuckers in any situation. They're, they're just like, oh, all right. They yeah. Jump. Well, I mean, they yeah, will. Sure, you're right. But hey, do you, all the famous scientists and shit, they're German. Mm. They're. Mm. British, maybe. You know, Stephen Hawking, he was mm-hmm. British. Asian. Stephen Hawking, was it? Yeah. Oh, Asian no. scientist. Okay. Asians are just good at everything, really. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, besides yeah. growing. Beyond. But they overcame that with science. <laughs> yeah. Look at Yao Ming. Yeah. They just got the two tallest people to fuck, Shit. and they're like, dude, the Punnett Square, it's adding up. Mm-hmm. He's got to be tall. Hell yeah. Brandon, if you could be any height, what would you be? Ooh. I feel like you could be like four or five. Nah, man. I'd be like six, eight. Say two, do six, eight? Yeah, that's six, too much. Eight, that's too big, Or a man. six, six. That's the devil. That's, that's, man, okay, six, five is the lowest. No, you take six, eight. If you want to be six, eight, six, eight. Because you'd be okay. in the NBA, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's honest. I don't know. I don't know. If you, if you, if you play as good as they said, and then <laughs> you're six, eight, you'd probably be in the NBA. All right, you know, maybe. Maybe, especially because then I'd be definitely dunking. Mm-hmm. So if I'm in there dunking. I feel like you would be 6'8 and couldn't dunk. Oh, man. <laughs> For sure. A hard layup, man. though. Yeah, He'd I feel the like hardest layup. The rim would just stuff you. Every time. Man, them layups are already hard. I thought you were a beast, Brandon. Yeah, I'm good with them layups and stuff, man. You are? Yeah, I'm good with my layups. I, I just get said some they shots. Were hard. Two, and uh, yeah, I get them two and three shots. Uh-huh. Sometimes we miss a couple it's shots. Only you know, everybody, everybody miss some shots. <laughs> They're either worth two or yeah. three, man. You'll see though, unless You'll it's see. a free throw. I'll let you see on the court. Me and Brandon versus JJ and uh, Lumbra. Yeah. He leaves it all out there, man. He does. He it's doesn't. I mean, it's dude, he fucking leaves a, a slick spot on the court. You'll slip right over. <laughs> yeah, he'll cross you up with fucking biology, dude. Yeah, I need He's a sweat. headband. I'm getting a headband. <laughs> Profuse. <laughs> getting a headband. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the academy. Bryce gonna hook me up. Did you do that thing to your hair? I see you trying to. Yeah, you trying yeah, to do I bought it, right? a sponge, the bow wow sponge, man. Yeah, mm-hmm. little bow wow. Yeah, that bow wow twist uh-huh. thing. Mm. Trying it. And next time, Mike, the one who be lining you up. Yeah, yeah, that's who lines me up now. Nah. So he's gonna hook me up, right? Yeah. Yep. I'm lining you up nice with a straight. With a with a straight uh, okay. instead straight. of that curving. Yeah, yeah. Can't use a gay razor, dude. Only a straight razor. Does he use straight razors? Right, straight razor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He has them. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to put. He puts you a spray. You. He'll put you some spray in your shit. Make my ball spot go away for a night. <laughs> for a night, yeah. <laughs> I need that's one. That's of when those. you go into the yellow rose, dude. <laughs> you gotta get that spray <laughs> on there. The flex seal or whatever it is. 
Then we would try to go to a strip club last night after we left because uh, we went out to Red Zone, met up with Scott. Then went end to End Zone. Yeah, End Zone, met up with Scott. Then went to Moody's and was there for like just a couple minutes. And then uh, Scott was like, Scott and Charlie both were fucked up. So they were like going home. Me and Alex was like, well, we'll drop Charlie off and then uh, take a swing by it. But luckily we didn't because I didn't want to spend that much money. And we got in there and there was there was 10 people trying to get in. Now, I'm not going to say what color they are, but they were arguing a lot. We know. And- <laughs> what color are they, Brandon? It's black. <laughs> but look, so it's like five girls up there, five guys. And they're trying to get in. They just need your ID and a pay. And a, to the strip and, club? Yeah, to pay. They all were paying in ca- ca- cash, clearly. Okay. You know what I mean? So they go up there, and then, like, the women go. They come back, and then the uh, the worker's like, hey, I need your ID to two dudes in the back. And, like, they hear her, but they're just on their phones like this. And they're like, hey, I need your IDs. I need your ID. Say it three times. And his boy said something. I'm like, hey, we need your ID. And I'm thinking he ain't 21. That's why he didn't want to give up his ID. But he hears him. He looks back down on the phone and slowly pulls it out. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? Give him your ID. Pay for whatever you Why are you holding up this whole fucking line? But it's a blessing in disguise. And then they were like, the women had, uh, after that, the worker got his ID. The woman was like, I need your ID back in the back. And then they, the, all the women were like, you already had my ID. You don't have mine. I ain't got to give you no. I was like, well, I'm just, when me and Alex look at each other, we're just leaving. It's just no, you're not even going to get in there. But it was good because I didn't have to spend no money. That's I spent that money on a haircut. You got to see this fucking line. <laughs> yeah. Looks nice. Yeah, Looks it does. nice. It's Thank, good. Thanks, man. man. I really appreciate that. Hell yeah. That's a damn. Shame. I'm gonna take JJ to my barber. Could you imagine oh, him with dude, the straightest, no, with the straightest lineup? Shit. What are you talking about, man? <laughs> I'd like to see it. I'm never getting a haircut ever again, dude. I'm gonna just let it grow out. You're gonna be the uh, okay. I can't say what you do, but <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say it with a mullet. Expo- oh, dude, it just grows like that. <laughs> you know, I didn't choose it. It just grows in all white trash like like that. Yeah, yeah. dude, it, it doesn't grow on the sides. It only grows in the back, dude. <laughs> good style what time we on we are at 45 minutes on the dot or about to be 46 oh shit damn yeah. dude same age as dom that's crazy i know i Fuck know y'all. i don't know yeah, i'm yeah. a young spry fellow yeah i felt like we did 30 minutes on garfield i feel like we talked about garfield like for 25. at least 25 minutes dude. at least was it 25 something around that yeah, okay around that garfield yeah Crazy. I'm sorry, Brandon. It's okay, dude. Uh, no, 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 no. We're good. We're good now. Place. We're good now. We're good. It's just, <laughs> damn, guys. <laughs> oh, we went to, uh, oh, uh, we went shit. to. Um, Stardome. Stardome. That and, was fun. and now Brandon has a new favorite comedian. <sighs> man, he, he was really good. I'll give him that. Jim Brewer. Because, listen, man, he was crazy. Like, the stuff that was happening, it was, I wasn't ready for it. It was like watching Jerry Lewis times steroids and all that other shit it was crazy <laughs> just like that dude it was just like that i just dude. didn't know brandon was a staunch republican because, I mean, okay no no brandon, nah, ha- I'm brandon not has no idea what he said in, in one of his do you know could you say a joke that he said dude the only thing i remember is him going like ah, ah, yeah, uh, ah, like just going crazy be like ah. yeah but you probably <laughs> saw people like that in your classes all the okay, time okay yes i did <laughs> Classes in the bus station. <laughs> but, uh. The short bus station. Yes. Both of them. Man, they were all over the place. I'm you just kidding, man. I like, I, it was killing me that you liked him yes. that much. That yeah. was the best part that of the night. That was the best part of the whole night. Because he that, was crazy. It was just the way he was acting. Was like, whenever so, he'd do one of his acting, he would do some stuff like, what? Yes, like that. And then Brandon was like, <laughs> He was hitting the table. He couldn't control himself. Yeah, man, that was good. I like, feel like that's a lot darker than the Garfield movie, to be yeah. honest, but because that's real life shit. Yeah, I mean, I, I would listen. Some of them, I was like, "Damn, that's weird." But then we did oh, hit himself in the back or something. I'm like, "Okay, I like the slapstick. I like this Joe Biden impression, or he just walked, walked off, off the stage." I, I liked his uh, his gun joke. He was like, uh, "Oh yeah." He's 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 like, "I'm never." I've never owned a gun. I thought about owning a gun until 2020. Yeah. And now I'm like, I need 50 of these. <laughs> I feel all that. Uh, yeah, it was it was fun. Uh, Jonah. Jonah, Jonah got second. Hell, yeah. I don't I don't you know who the guy who got first? Daniel something. He's, He's from, from Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah, Atlanta. Michael something? 
I don't know. I have no clue. I came in there late on him, so I yeah. just seen half of it. But he was killing. But Jonah, let me tell you about the boy Jonah. Dog. He fucking smacked him. He did. On that big stage. And it wasn't like everybody was doing good. You know what I mean? Yeah. It wasn't like a it wasn't easy gimmick. crowd. Yeah, yeah it, it wasn't. Hurt. You had to go get them. And he he did uh he did good. What's my man's name? The Jewish one? Dark skin. Hmm. I, I red just, jacket. I know who you're talking about. What was it? I name? thought he did I thought he did like after Oh, Nagin. Jo- Matt Nagin. Yeah. yeah, Matt. Yeah. I thought he did really good. He did. Yeah. He's uh, funny. I thought he was funny. Uh who else they have? Who got second with Jonah? That the, mom. Yeah, the, the mom. mom. I don't know her name. The light skinned lady from Tuscaloosa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't remember. She did, she did good. Mika. Mika. Mika something. Mika, yeah. Mika Carey, maybe. Okay. I don't know. I mean, I, shit, you could tell me anything. I don't know. I'm firing yeah, shots in the dark here, dude. No racial. <laughs> now, you remember that one? Kato one. <laughs> no. And listen, shit. Kato Kalen, if you don't know who he is, he's the, he was, I think he was like OJ Simpson's roommate. He was. Right? And he was like, he got called to the stand and all this stuff. So he was big in the trial. He comes around every once in a while to talk about OJ and shit. And I guess he does stand up. And he opened up with like seven, eight minutes. There yeah. Oh my gosh, him back in the day. I did not know he had that fucking Eileen Warnos haircut. Dude, <laughs> yeah, man. Look, oh my gosh. He wow. had like the strongest face in the world. No, Angelina Jolie has wow. the strongest no, face. No, his face is stronger. No, Angelina Jolie's face could cut glass, dude. <laughs> this fucking guy, he's just got a yeah. wide ass. What the? He does have a wide ass, like, jaw. Yeah. Damn. He's like. Brad Pitt, if everything. Was That's what crazy. I was thinking. <laughs> like once a t- uh, once upon a time in Hollywood, they're probably the same age. Maybe. And look at them now. Go to the now picture. Where are they now? Let's the Stardome in Birmingham. <laughs> Yeah, he was a nice guy. He oh was, yeah, he was, dude. His energy was great. Yeah, his yeah, energy, energy was great. But um, yeah, dude, when he was talking to that Asian girl in oh, the front, oh man, I don't know if that was just crowd workers. That's part of his act. But he went in on that Asian girl for what? A while. He wow. kept his wife is Chinese or something. Oh. His wife is of Asian descent. I don't remember. Oh, okay. Chinese. Remember the other girl that he tried to get to stand up? He was like, with the sleeveless shirt. How about you oh, stand up, was, turn around, oh, for the dude? Audience. That was yeah. What happened? I, what she do? She, she didn't stand did not up. Stand, I think she just <laughs> pretended like she wasn't there. And like, then the dude in the back was like saying something. He's like, what? Those three gay dudes in the back? What up? Or something like that. It's like, yeah, get a drink on his tab. Or he's or the, gay, but I don't know. I don't know. You're going wasn't he messing with, with somebody's like mom too? I think because some, somebody was talking to somebody's mom, and then the dude was like, "That's my mom." And he's like, "Oh, okay." No, it was her. It was, he was messing with the with the lady who does comedy in Birmingham. Oh yeah, and she was yeah. like asking where her husband was and said something about. I thought like, that was Cassio though. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that was probably that, 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 know, that was Cassio because he was eating a burger. Dom bought a bucket of beer. Yeah, I yeah. don't remember, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I just remember that. They, they chugged that first one. I was like, all right. I like that limes. Mm. Yeah, okay, so good. that's how we get you drunk. Just <laughs> some shit with limes in it. Yeah, dude, I love limes. Man. <laughs> what the fuck? I, like when I go to a Mexican restaurant, I'll just eat the limes by themselves. Really? Dude. That's I love good. them. I that's love good. them. When I was a kid, I used to drink lemon juice. Just like out of the thing, like the little lemon uh, shape bottle. I love it, dude. You just squirt a little bit? No. Drink the bottle, dude. I love it. It would fuck my stomach up, dude, but I love it, man. I love citrus. So you're a sour guy? Yeah. Hell yeah. So you love Sour Patch Kids? Warheads? warheads. I don't like gummies, though. What about Warheads? Warheads are okay. They're just, the, the point of a Warhead, though, is just to be sour. Like, it's not supposed to taste good, I don't feel well, like. Well, it tastes good at the it's end good because to me. you. Yeah. I like the sour Skittles. <laughs> Ugh. The that green is, bag. I love those. Fuck, that's nasty. Those are good. I hate sour shit, though. That's I mean, I don't, I don't dislike sour shit, but like shit like that. Warheads and then the sour Skittles that have that stuff on the outside. It's like, ugh. The sour powder. Yeah. I, don't I know. like that. Me too. I like that a so lot. So good. I like the sour spray they used to have. Oh my god. That gosh, was good. Yep. Sour slime. Didn't have the toxic slime? Yep. Yeah, I never had it, mm-hmm. but I knew it was good. About. It's too much though. You'd be like, oh, this is just sugar. Sticky sugar. It's green sludge. Yeah. Uh, as a candy in like a biohazard barrel thing. It's like toxic sludge. Cool. Yeah. I'm a rebel. You're a rebel. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I wear DC shoes and big shorts, bro. 
We know your little, your little short ass wearing ass. Oh, dude, these are the shortest shorts I have. Jesus I wore them Christ. just for the podcast today, dude. <laughs> yeah, Three and a half is. inch inseam. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's wild. Dude, big ass shorts look dumb. No, they don't. Nah. I mean, um, not Jay, big, when not Jake Muncie big. pulls up oh, with those okay. shorts that look like loose fitting <laughs> capris, that shit is insane. Big shorts are not cool. The cargo shorts. Short shorts are in style, dude. <laughs> They don't have to be that short, though. Dude, hey, man. When you got quads like these, <laughs> brother, they, they're going to be short right. regardless. Yeah, I mean, he's man. not wrong. I just what? realized with that part. If you got some good quads and you can wear some uh, shorts like that. So you're saying JJ should keep on wearing his. You see his. the uh, teardrop right there, the, Brandon? Okay. You so, see that, dude? Yeah, I see what's going on. It's <laughs> he easy. sees what's going on, dude. He, <laughs> he gets like, it. Like my, there was, yeah, man. He, like you wear that. short shorts? Used to. But, you, but it was because I was big. Like, I remember my first uh, <laughs> basketball game, they only had one pair of shorts left for me. And uh, I, they were, like, all the way up here because I was big. Uh-huh. They didn't have my size. So, I mean, that time I wore it, and then sometimes I, I would wear those, like, short ones for wrestling. And then, like, if I trained in May, I'd have, like, a really short. But the other than that, nah. No, just I'm talking about walking around, going walking to the store. Walking around. I've never seen. Nah. Have you ever seen you in shorts? One time. Nah. Brandon doesn't really wear shorts. I don't wear shorts. Nah, I gotta buy more. I I, I almost one. only wear shorts, dude. You like you will wear shorts and a hoodie, right? Yeah. See, I do that sometimes. I know it's uh, but y'all like you. You'll go further with white people because y'all wear it with like socks with no. Uh, I mean, slides with no uh socks. Duh, in the cold. Dude, I'm always wearing socks. Oh yeah, yeah. I hate. I hate. Taking my socks off. And you had to do it for Pat to go get a big whiff of that on the Doom Show. Shout out Hell Shenanigans. Yeah. yeah, shout out Shenanigans. But they made me get the dogs mm-hmm. out, dude. And I was not a fan. I didn't like doing that, but I did it for the show. I wanted him to get down on mine because I knew <laughs> it would smell like corn chips. and Oh, it was rough. Damn. JJ, you would have quit if you had to do that one, would you? Yeah, I hate feet, man. Yes, you hate, I hate feet. feet. I hate men. I hate open toe. I don't want to see anybody's feet, man or woman. Hmm. I the foot fetish people, you know, good for y'all. It's actually foot fetishes come from uh, a lack of maturity in the brain because the two areas that control balance and pleasure uh-huh. are right next to each other, and if your brain isn't fully developed, those never separate. So you know, if, <laughs> I'm not. Laughing? I'm not saying you're dumb if you like feet, but. You have a brain that isn't fully developed, and that's all I'm going to say. Damn, man. man. You know I like feet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and that's cool, Brandon. That's, that, that's, he just that, you got documentation and shit. Damn, he man. said that's cool, yeah. but you are simple-minded. That's what he said. <sighs> that's not what I said. It's what I implied heavily. <laughs> yeah. No, man, but look at somebody like Jake, dude. Yeah, he try. He's trying to say he's not a foot guy anymore. No, yeah, you don't. It, it know, just doesn't dude. go away. Yeah, you, uh, it doesn't go away. No, it, it it's not something. It's irreversible, man. Mm-hmm. You just like them. Yeah, I've never even heard of that until like I was like twenty eight about people being in the feet and shit like that. I think that I mean I always it's always been around, around, but you know you never like met somebody I would say until I was like yeah well in my twenties I'm like you like feet. Sucking toes was always like a joke. Yeah, I heard so like, about say, that. Like mm-hmm. it, you, you'd say like, oh, you suck toes. Or yeah. Whatever. Used to hear but people like that, man. And I people sucked the buy used socks. I have sucked the toe yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. I was. I could never, good. man. Yeah, it's certain kind of feet that I, I will. I look on them. I would rather eat somebody's ass than suck their toe. Oh no, man, that's worse. You get that? Ugh. Well, you got to make sure the ass is clean. I don't lick the ass too. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, it was a hundred percent. I'll get a. I'll hose it out first. But the foot, I don't care if you just got like a pedicure and what? took a shower. Oh. I, I would never do. That's disgusting, bro. It's disgusting. Really? You wouldn't even lick them. Nah, man. <laughs> man. I'd rather lick a shoe. You missing out? No, man. You're missing out. <laughs> That's man. insane, dude. That's insane. you stand on those. Would you lick a shoe? I mean, not a shoe, but a foot. Yes. You have? <laughs> no. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. One time. How quick yeah, he said that. Yeah, because. <clears throat> <laughs> like, like, you, you ain't gonna lick up. my foot. And I was like, yeah, well, what's it? Well, maybe don't want to. Oh, you didn't. You didn't like do it in that. This was a man. Passion. No, no, it wasn't a man. It was a girl, of course. <laughs> she was like, you ain't gonna lick my foot. Uh-huh. I'm like, yeah, Take, I I'll do. lick somebody's foot, but I'm not gay. Dude. <laughs> yeah, not no dude's foot. It was a girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, but you never like did it in the heat of passion, like grabbed her toe and start gnawing on a little bit. No, uh-huh. no, not yet, not yet. 
This nigga ace, bro. <laughs> bro, I, I don't know if I text him back. I got to text him back. He said, I just wake up. I don't even know when it was. I think it was Saturday morning because uh, I was tired of shit. So I slept all fucking day after I got off work on Friday. And then I just wake up to <laughs> don't judge a girl's pussy by what her pussy lips look like. This is a message from Uncle A. <laughs> Something like that, I swear to God. Looks can be deceiving. Yeah, yeah that's pretty much what he was saying. He was like, just because a pussy looks like it's good doesn't always mean it. Or he could have been talking about the vice versa. I don't know. I need to dig deeper. You ever played out a scenario in your head that hasn't happened yet? Uh huh. But just like an imaginary thing? I was doing this thing. I was like, maybe I should ask Dom for a, for our open mic. We should write each other a five minute set, brand new shit. And I was thinking about jokes that I was going to, I would write. And this one that I thought of is kind of related to that. It's like, you know what PCOS is? Like a woman who has PCO, PCOS, no. like ovarian cyst. Okay. Like little bumps on the ovaries. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Like textured pussy. <laughs> it has a different texture to it. It's like ribbed. Uh-huh. I was going to write a joke about that. I don't know how I was going to do it. Yeah, but it's one of those ones where I can just see like... The audience face and they're just like cringing and they just hate their life, dude. And those are my favorite. Well, that'd be a good idea, though. Just yeah. like weekend update, but what stand up? So you say yeah. like rib, yeah. like when you touch it, like feel like like you know. little bumps, dude. Like uh, mm. you ever okay. seen a pair of shoes and on the bottom they got all those little circular bumps? Oh yeah, at the hospital and shit. Yeah, yeah I know what you mean. Like that. I don't yeah. you use them for your circulation. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Pressure I thought you were you. asking. No, you He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah. I was. I don't know why I was thinking like a blind dude with that bristle stuff. What are those things? Braille? Yeah, it's kind of like that. <laughs> it's kind of like a braille. It's kind of like that, but it's more dark. Like, you know, like on a fast food uh, soda on the top where you push it in? Oh, yes. yeah. It's like that. Damn. That's rough, man. I don't mm-hmm. know if that's actually what it's like, but that's what I'm imagining in my mm-hmm. head. It's got to hurt. It's like. You ain't never had ripped condoms for her pleasure? Huh? Ribbed condoms. Rib- up, oh dude. yes, 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 yes. I have. Yeah. Yes, I have. But uh, not barbecue ribs, dude. <laughs> no, no, the little ribs on them. Yeah. Yeah. You just get the bare skin, huh? You know. The- <laughs> oh, my bad. Bro. Okay. There okay. Mister Bare Skin over yeah, there. Yeah, get that. The bare uh-huh. skin raw. You guys still you, you still use condoms? Oh yeah, man. Yeah. You always got to be should. safe out here. You got to be protected. Oh uh, yeah, that's good for you guys. I am. Yeah, I'm too young to have a mini Brandon. You ain't lying. Yeah. Way too young. You don't need a kid, dude. Yeah. No. At least oh wait. Gosh. Wait. Wait in 10 and, years. I mean, if you can, sometimes things happen. You know, you can't do Especially here, you can't do anything about it. <laughs> you just got to go along with it or you will go to jail. God <laughs> will, dude. You got, <laughs> that's a lesson, dude. Buy condoms. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I get, it's way I cheaper. Don't know. I feel like I'm going to somehow get in trouble for saying that. <laughs> but I would, dude, having sex without a condom in this economy, Shit. dude, bold move, man. But you know, Girls get the fucking thing in their arm and they don't, can't have sex. I mean, can't have kids for like three years. Yeah, and it works, but sometimes it doesn't, dude. Yeah. What if it breaks? What right. if it shifts a centimeter mm-hmm. to the right? You got to trust in that. All dude. right, I, can't. I don't trust in uh, science, dude. I trust Look where that. that got some people, man. 15. Never. Who? <laughs> Trusting in science, dude? Yeah. Never, dude. Nah. <laughs> Never. It's just science. Look man. at the people that trusted the banks, man. Look at fucking Great Godzilla. Depression. That's not science. Look at Godzilla, dude. <laughs> Scientific fucking movies. Look at that. They <laughs> believed in it. Then they got a fucking big ass monster to yeah. fuck them up, man. Yeah, dude. Yeah. That's I don't, science. Yeah, okay. Yeah. He made a great point. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself, dude. Yeah. So Godzilla's your example. Look at Contagion. Look at COVID. <laughs> you can't Wait, trust what was the that science, movie? Man. That was a good movie, Contagion. What was that movie from the '90s that predicted uh, COVID? You remember the one with the monkey and everybody got sick and they had to like? Let's uh, Contagion. Oh no, yeah. no, that's uh, Hot Zone. Is that that's Hot Zone? You talking about so. with Matt Damon, right? And Gwyn- Gwyn- Gwyneth Paltrow's banging. Uh, I think so. Banging somebody else and she gives it from China or I think, something. I think so. Yeah, I right. I think that's called Hot Zone. No, that's not Hot Zone. Let me see. I'll search it up. I don't know. That's I, definitely Contagion. Contagion is the new one. I think it was one. Outbreak. No, it's not. Contagion is in the... No- Go look at it. The new world. Let me see. It might be... Yeah, it is Outbreak. It is yep, Outbreak. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. what I was talking about. Yeah, that movie. Oh, no, no. That's not the one I Look up Contagion. About. Contagion. Contagion was a good movie. Yeah. That was scary, dude. Contagion. Right there? Yeah. Oh, damn, that looks fucked up. Yeah, see? Matt Damon, Gwyneth Paltrow. Ooh, they got, yeah, I never uh, seen this. They got my girl, uh, 
Kate Winslet in there. No blue. Oh, and her from uh, Dark Dark Knight Rises. She had that terrible death scene, and then Damn, of course Lawrence Fishburne. Huh? How did she die? Uh, Batman hit her. Damn, Batman. Yeah. That's abuse. Yeah. Batman kills a lady? Yeah, kills oh, her. I like hits that. Her. fucked up. Hits her with a car. How's he not going to kill anybody but just kill one girl? Then the she's Joker. trying to ruin the world. She's so trying, to, the she's trying to take over Gotham. Damn. Joker was just doing mischief. He was just a silly guy. He liked to joke around, kill little people. I don't know, man. I still haven't seen the movie. somebody's face. Dude. Yeah. Oh, it happens. We're having fun. We're goofing. Silly goofy. Almost did <laughs> like I like the jo- I like the Joaquin Phoenix Joker where he murdered that guy with those scissors. Oh yeah, he fucked him up. And the good. and the little dude was trying to <laughs> yeah. the and he comes over and just opens it. Damn, you always were good to me. How crazy is that? I've been thinking. I've been thinking about seeing it. But I'm like that. The movie. Joker. Yeah, you That's haven't good. seen it. Nah, man. Because I was like, see, that see, like watch five it now. Because whenever I watched it, it was too much. They were everybody was hyping it up, and it's a really good movie. But they were like, I mean, it's literally the comedian, though, or it's like the comedian and uh, with Robert De Niro, and oh. Mark Corsu- Martin uh, Corsese movie from back in the day. It's pretty much that, but with the Joker. I've never seen that one. Do you know a good movie? If you want to go back and watch an old good movie, Taxi Driver. You seen that? Ooh, oh yeah. I, I mean, I've heard Taxi. of it. I haven't seen. Yeah, it. See, I that was it. me for. I, I swear to God, to like three years ago. Isn't he just like crazy? I love yeah, that crazy movie. dude. But a good, crazy. like Robert De Niro at his peak. That's his acting right Man, here. Man, I've seen this so many Didn't times. Didn't a video game come out of this? Maybe. No, no. They had know. Scarface and like uh, Godfather, but never this I one. I think right. there's a movie. Or a but he's legit. Called Taxi. He's legit Man. an insane person. This was. In the be- most beautiful way. He plays it so well. He must have hung out with like fucking a whole bunch of. He must have won some, some open mics or something. <laughs> Dude, he did perfect. I know a guy that dresses like that. that Look up the out. comedian with Jerry Lewis. This is what the Joker is uh, based off of. You said Jerry Lewis? Yeah. Right, no, no. Uh, Go to all. You said all. Oh, oh, shit, yeah, never mind. His ain't gonna come. Com- Wait, the- I could do the comedian with Robert De Niro. Movie. Is that yeah, what it yeah. is? Just put movie. There. Yeah. Damn, sure ain't no 2010. Okay, hold on. Let me do the 80s. Let me do Robert De Niro in the 80s. Because I forgot he did a lot of comedian movies. Am I, is that not the name of the movie? Let's see. I put down there all in 80. Okay, so this Yeah, is, yeah, that one. Oh, The King of Comedy. The that's King the, of Comedy. That's what it is. Oh, my gosh, dude. I've never seen somebody look more like they touch kids <laughs> than that guy. Damn, man. Yep, there we go. <laughs> yeah, he has an infatuation with uh, Jerry Lewis, the king of comedy. Damn. He wants to be a stand-up and shit so bad, I kind of loses his shit. Yeah, there's a lot of real-life people like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you ain't lying. I'm, man, this might happen at the comedy mothership one day with somebody. <laughs> it's going to happen at us stand-up live with us. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to happen at Shaq Nasty's hey, Tuesday night. Oh, 8 shit. PM. $50. Tell them. $50 to the best set of the night and a potential spot on the upcoming showcase that we have where you can compete to win an even larger cash prize. Ooh. Oh, my god. That gosh. sounds like some fun. And on Tuesdays, also, at the same time, you pick one, uh, 7.30 sign-ups, 8 o'clock at Enchantasies, starting this Tuesday. June 11th. No, next Tuesday. June 11th. My bad. <laughs> I guess I should know things like this. But yeah, we, got, we got that one, too. And then Fat Sammy's on. Wednesday. Yep. We uh, sign-ups, 8 o'clock, starts at 8.30. Boop. Peace. We're out. I got to pee. Hell yeah. This shit. I like all the Garfield. Yeah, the Garfield shit is gonna fucking hit hard. That was Welcome to Clown College. We have profound knowledge. In many ways, the elevator makes it sound polished. So if you want to hear a little honest, few takes on a ways to make it as a comic. Then stick around for a while. If you're down to clown, we got the guests right now just to show you how.